welcome back to my channel again. Um, as you guys know, um, if you follow, if you've been following my Instagram and you follow the hashtag that I have um, called Lewin's Travel, I put it down here in the down bar below. Then, for those of you who have been following me on Instagram, you would know that I went to KL last Christmas, and I went like a little bit nutty on the shopping. I think. No, actually, actually, I was expecting to shop more, but I didn't, which was quite surprising. But it's okay. It's okay. There wasn't. We were. We were up in um, mid, mid Valley, which is in the Bangsa area, and I was there over the Christmas weekend because my colleague was getting married, and I just I went there with the purpose of more of, um you know, revisiting friends and connecting with friends and stuff. So it was like to go for a wedding and the uh, you know, I went to meet up some of my KL friends. I went to met I went to meet up with Erica. So if you guys uh, followed us followed me on Instagram you would see a picture of the two of us. And I met like some of my other like um friends, you know, in, in the hip hop scene in, in KL. And that was really really nice. So now I'm gonna share with you finally, finally I have the time to share with you my haul from Kuala Lumpur um, in Mid Valley Mall alone. Like we didn't go anywhere else. We didn't go to like KL City. We just stayed in like Mid Valley Mall area, which is the Bangsa area. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go into like my haul, jump in straight away. And one of the first things that I'm really really excited about is my purchase from Vinci. Now if you're in Malaysia and Vinci is a Malaysian brand, um, then you have to come and pop by in Vinci because they have really really nice footwear, um, they specialize in accessories, jewelry, handbags and footwear, just basically accessories in the fashion department. But um, And the prices are really really cheap so one of the things that I got are actually these pair of sandals, aren't they beautiful? Um, and these were only 20 ringgit. Um, and yeah, because I've been looking for a pair of sandals, I, don't, I realize that I've been tossing all of my old shoes out. I've been doing quite a lot of spring cleaning and I've been tossing a lot of things out and I realized that I don't have any sandals for just normal day-to-day -day basis. I'm surviving on a single pair of flip-flops. That's all that I have. And anything else beyond that are all my flats, my heels, my boots, but I only have one pair of flip-flops. And I live in Singapore for crying out loud and I do not have sandals yet, so it's a shame. <laughs> and then um, I got this pair, which is just a basic black pair with the gold trimming because you know I, I always feel that gold looks good on me. Um, and this was going for 15 ringgit. Um, just a simple basic pair. Um, you know, I always wanted something like that so that I can bring with me on holidays and not walk around with flip-flops. I mean the atrocity of going around, you know, traveling in flip-flops, like rubber flip-flops. It's just Wrong, I guess from a fashion you know fashionista's point of view um, and then <laughs> I also spotted this um, pair of like flats and they're really really cute these were going for 19 ringgit um, they're just so adorable look at how shiny they are and it's nude and yeah I just love them to death because they're so cute aren't they cute and like it's like metallic pieces for the bowl just like them yeah so those are from Vinci and then I popped them into cotton on um sorry ziplock everything locks in the freshness from like you know like oh my god I can so smell KL right now I'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah I did pop it into like a cotton on and I am loving kimono throwovers. I think they're the mo they're the best invention because they're so lightweight so it's not gonna be really really you're not gonna perspire and it's not gonna be too hot when you're in Singapore but at the same time it gives you that nice cover-up sorry my leg is showing um it gives that nice cover-up so the first one that I got is this pattern one and they're actually from cotton on body so I'm guessing that they're actually meant to be worn as like loungewear in indoors but I don't care I really don't care because if it's nice and it looks really good I'm gonna wear it out that's just the way I am so this one has this um, I think it feels very traditionally like Japanese kind of print 
with like a pop of like pink lace in. Let me just slip this on right now. So yeah, it's really really nice. <sighs> it's, it, and, and it ends like about like you know like three quarter. This is how it looks like. And it's kind of nice because it's very like loungy and yeah. So that's the first one that I got. And then this is an extra small, extra small to small, yeah. And then the second print that I got is a really really funky print, and it's you know very summery, um, loud, very apt for like spring summer, very apt for like festival going, and it's just you know yeah. It's very very comfortable um, and yeah it's, it's perfect for me to like throw on and I go to work and then when I'm at work I just throw on my blazer I throw this off and I put on my blazer and then when I'm going home I throw off my blazer and I put this on and it's I'm covered all the way and warm and snuggly so yeah <laughs> it's just basically the way I roll in, in and out of office um, yeah and then the next thing that I got is something from Himalaya Herbals it's Nandi they were selling this for 2890 ringgit and this is one of my favorite types of facial foam because it is soap free and it's so lightweight and your, your skin's still gonna feel like as if it's drying out and it's from a drugstore. I mean it's a drugstore brand so I really like this. I would I totally completely recommend this shit, so yeah. And then the other thing that I got from Himalaya Herbals is actually the protein shampoo volume and bounce. Um, for flat and greasy hair because I went to the to the hairdresser and then they, he was saying that like I have quite a bit of an oily scalp so I might want to look into that so I thought that you know why not try the Himalaya Herbals because I love like their whole entire range and I think it's, it's about time that I get back into it um, yeah and this one is really good because it's free from parabens, silicones and S L E S. Um, so hopefully it'll be nice and it has soap berry and licorice inside this. I don't know how does it smell like. Ooh! It smells really clean. Like a really, really clean kind of smell. Very sanitary. Um, I like it. I'm not too sure whether people who walk by me and the wind blows and whether they'll like it. But yeah. On to the next one. Jolie. Yeah, I didn't buy, as you can tell, I didn't buy like a lot of fashion stuff. I don't know why, but I keep buying like jewelry pieces. Ones that I really like. This was going for 16 ringgit. It's gold, like just so gold um, bands everywhere. And I really like them. It's just, I just like chunky. I, I just got, I am I feel that I'm completely bored with the ones that I have right now. I'm not going to toss them out, but I'm just a little bit bored with the one that I have. And then I have this one. Um... This is the silver one and this says Dream which is really really ironic because now I have one in gold and then now one in silver but it's fine you know because it's always good to dream and I really have big dreams which I am trying to work towards too so yeah. Um, but the good thing is that this one is in silver so I can wear this all the time and I don't have to ever take it off um, and I really like that effect. So. So these pieces, this is really, it's just very, very basic, very, very simple pieces. Nothing fancy about them. But it's just that I like the whole layer thing and it's just really, really nice. This is what this set looks like. This is a silver set. So it has something turquoise and it's, there's this really, really nice like piece right here, which I really like. And a little key. Um, so this is a really, really nice piece. I realize that I'm like getting quite a bit of like, boho kind of pieces but I don't mind um, I don't have like things like that so I'm just really glad that I got these and this was like for 16 ringgit so those are my jewelry from Lovita and then all, moving on to my jewelry from Forever 21 this is the piece that I got I really like this piece um, it's, it's such a statement piece and it's really really apt for like the spring season that is coming in, you know, like flowers blooming all over you. I think it looks really really nice like here. So yeah, it's just really really nice, right? It's And it goes so well with just something like a tank top, like a scoop neck tank top and you know, it just amps up the whole outfit. It's just like that. You see me transform like in this video alone. Um, and like I got this one, this necklace. It's an arrow. Um, 
so it just points to one direction <laughs> one yeah in, in, in a direction and it was and it cost 10 ringgit so I just like that because it's silver and it's something different um, then I got these heart earrings for 10 ringgit as well so those are really cool I used to have like these in gold and then they rusted over and I had to throw them out now I can get them that I have like a new one in silver and it's really really cool so and they're really really lightweight so I like that um, the last pair of earrings that I got from Forever 21 are these black ones they're like geometric black ones really cool pieces um, yeah so as I said like before I'm trying to like vamp up my earring collection because it's just getting a little bit old yeah oh and I forgot from um, Cotton On the same when I got like the kimono I grabbed like a couple of like these um, bracelets and these are like cotton on foundation bracelets I guess if you have a cotton on where you live you'd see this at the cashier counter and you know they it's, it's just like two it's in Singapore it's two dollars in Malaysia it's six ringgit but um, it's very hard to find like these colors in Singapore I think because they get taken up quite fast so I just like bought a bunch and yeah just like they're very bright and just I just, there's a lot of meaning to it. Jewelry from Aldo. I think Aldo was yeah, Aldo was having a sale. Get this set of rings because it's just nice, very geometric kind of rings. Very very delicate and dainty. Reminds me of like Morocco. I've never been to Morocco, but it just gives that Moroccan feel. So yeah. And then um, I got these, which is like fake watch bangles is so freaking cool the saddest thing is they're just so freaking huge for my arm so there is like barely any way for me to like wear them um and the thing is is i got two of them because i'm gonna do a giveaway and give one of these away um i just i just feel i just have this feeling that if i can't wear them i want someone one of you my subscribers to wear it and rock it for me because my wrists are far too small I got two but I'm giving one away because I just want one to put on my dresser and because it looks like a very very nice like display piece even though I can't wear it for the life of me why but yeah so one of you lucky people out there is gonna get this piece um, along with some other stuff I'm like preparing things for like a major giveaway soon and I went to um, Borders right um, and I got like a copy of Monocle um, it was recommended to me by a couple of my friends who reads and then they say that you know it's, it's, it's an interesting read so I wanted to check it out so I got myself Monocle, um, got myself a Vivi which is a Japanese uh, magazine but the good thing is this, this was edited in English so I can actually read what they're talking about and it gives a lot of like, it's, it's basically like a fashion lookbook but you know on Japanese um, fashion stuff so I thought you know just might as well just check it out these which is a magnetic songwriter but for hip hop and it's so cute <laughs> and I got two of these because I'm gonna give one away to um, my friend in KL as like a gift because you know it's just yeah he was hosting me and he was driving me around in KL um, which was really really nice and I thought that you know it's just it's just something small so. and but my real purpose of going into borders was actually to get sharpies because <laughs> sharpies are really really cheap in like KL according to my friends so I got like the industrial super permanent sharpie and the normal like regular sharpie um, like as a backup so both of them are in fine black and yeah so this is just it basically <laughs> 